10 things that really piss me off. Yeah, dude. I'm starting this list with urinals. It drives me nuts that guys stand up to pee when all they do is piss all over the floor. It's not like I'm a germaphobe or anything. I just find it annoying to have piss all over the place. Okay? So that's why I pee sitting down. Now, number two. This really drives me nuts. Cemeteries. You're taking a plot of land and rendering it completely useless for feeding people, for housing people, and on top of that, you've turned it into just a creepy spot. And a way cooler way to handle burial is these tree pods. You put your loved one in this like egg deal and you plant it, and they turn into a tree. Not creepy, people can hang out. Pfft. Fuck cemeteries, fuck coffins. Fuck all that. You know what I've come to hate over the last 10 years or so? Checking in and out of hotel rooms. I mean, if you do it once in a while, it's not so bad. But all the time, pack your bag and then unpack it and then pack it back up and then unpack it. Plus, like, I'm asleep. Oh, I gotta check out because fucking... And they're knocking on the door and like, oh man, don't even get me started about the little fucking do not disturb sign that you hang on your doorknob. But then when you open up the door, it falls on the ground. Ah, I used to travel with a roll of tape to just tape the fucking thing on there because I don't want anybody disturbing me. So fuck hotels. And you know what else? Fuck airports and airplanes. After the pandemic, getting back into airports, it was like, wait a second. This sucks so much more than ever. Plus, with the masks, dude, it's all about the tour bus lifestyle. I love it, man. There's nothing to not like about the tour bus, except when you're at the fucking gas pump and you put the little lever on there so that it's supposed to just fill on its own and it stops. What's the fucking point in having that little lever if it's gonna go for a little, little bit and then <clears throat> Gotta say, this video is starting to make me feel like a diva. But hey man, it's my video and you know what pisses me off is that Candy isn't good for you, man. Why can't I just eat candy all day, every day, and have it be good for me? Why isn't it that the healthiest people are the people who eat the most candy? You know? Fuck, that pisses me off. So I suppose that makes me mad at God. And I don't even want to say that, but how is it that human beings are the only living fucking organisms that can contemplate the fact that they're gonna be dead down the road. We get old and look at me, I gotta pee again. So, let me say that I'm totally not a germaphobe. That's not why I sit down to pee. I actually love germs. So, the thing that pisses me off next is fucking hand sanitizer. I call it pussy juice because only pussies are worried about <laughs> about fucking protecting themselves from germs. Dude, your immune system is a muscle. You gotta work that shit out. Let me give a serious one right now. I fucking hate factory farming. All these animals are in terrible conditions, having horrible lives, and people don't know about it because they don't want to know about it. That's why I don't fuck with meat, man. I'll eat fish. If the fish can just swim through the ocean and have a great life and then all of a sudden they get caught, I can live with that. But dude, when an animal's whole life is shitty because they're in a factory farm, I can't live with that, dude. So if you're eating meat from factory farms, fuck you. But with that said, I hate militant vegans that lie about shit. There's some crazy documentary that says sugar doesn't cause diabetes. It's all animal products that cause diabetes. Once people find out they've been lied to, then they're pissed off. Like me, I'm fucking pissed off at stupid militant vegans who lie. I know a lot of these have been kind of like kidding around, but let me get very serious right here. I am so fucking over all of the social media platforms with their hypersensitive 
by community guidelines, which they push way too far and get things taken down. Give me strikes. I'm in trouble. We're going to deactivate your account. And like, it wasn't ever even that fucking bad, you know? And so, put a pin in that. And what else pisses me off? And this has, as long as I've got been clean and sober, is people saying, Oh, fuck, steve you were funnier on drugs. I shouldn't even say that and fucking draw attention to it because it's just going to make people say it more. But the fact is, I was not fucking funnier on drugs. Particularly not towards the end. And anybody who says I was funnier on drugs or, or, or suggests that they want me to do drugs again, fuck those people because what they're really saying is they want me dead because there's no hope for me if I get back on drugs. I'll be fucking dead and fuck you if that's what you want. So, to put those two together, uh, I have been way more productive not on drugs. And I happen to enjoy making very fucked up explicit content. And there's a lot of it. So, let me show you two things. First, you got to see the wrap on my tour bus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude, look at this fucking thing, dude. And I've got my own site with all of my super explicit, no fucking rules, no community guidelines bullshit. It's called Steve Raw. Dot com. You can find it at stevo.com and fucking go check it out, man, because that's where I'm doing all my fun posting. So, yeah, I complained a lot today. Deal with it. Yeah.